Good afternoon, children. Hope you all are done with your maths work, which I gave you this morning. All right, let's start our lesson with student book. Okay, open up to page number 28. Don't get wet. All right, today's topic is don't get wet. Please write today's date where there's a white space you can find. Write down today's date, 26 October 2020. Now, let's read. Make sure your pointer's finger is ready. Point and read along. See whether you can follow or not. Okay? Now, things to do. We are reading in the red box. Things to do, things to learn what waterproofing is. So today in this chapter you will learn what waterproofing is. Then to sort materials by their properties. You have to sort out the materials by their properties. Now I am soaked. Some materials stop water. They are waterproof. For example your raincoat, umbrella, these are waterproof that means it does not let the water to pass through but whereas paper if you put it under the running water you open the tap take a piece of paper you put it under the water uh, the paper will tear into two pieces or it will start dripping that means the paper cannot hold water it lets it to pass through it but whereas the raincoat or a plastic cover or um, anything which material which has wax on it which is slippery it does not let the water to pass through now even the gum boots the boots which you wear during the rainy season it does not let the water to uh, go into your shoes and wet your feet that's why they wear gum boots yeah it's made of rubber material now um, which clothes when? So you should know which clothes you should wear when. Some clothes are better for some weathers. Yes, when it is hot and sunny, you cannot wear jackets and mufflers. Okay, you will feel more warm because it is hot and sunny. But whereas if it is cold, it's snowing, it's winter, you just can wear a t-shirt and walk around because you feel very cold. So every climate, every weather has their its kind of dressing. Okay, now which clothes would you wear in the rain? What do you think? Would you wear mittens in the rain? Do you need woolen mittens, uh, gloves to uh, wear during rain? No, they'll get wet. You should wear gum boots, alright, so that your uh, feet does not get wet and you wear a waterproof jacket like a raincoat, alright. You can even wear slippers, it's okay if you are not very worried about feet getting wet, you can always wear a slippers, but if you do not want to get wet in the rain, then you should wear gum boots and a raincoat to save you save you from wet, getting wet now read in the box things to do what does an umbrella do what does an umbrella do it saves you from getting wet which material makes the best umbrella what properties must they must the material have so umbrella if you have noticed when closed it is connected when you open it you will see it is connected it's like a cloth material but it's not exactly cloth it it has it is a material which does not absorb water all right it let it the minute the water drips on it what happens it slides down so that the umbrella material is like coated with wax okay so wax is same as candle wax all right so if you rub the candle wax on a plate or on a spoon or any surface it will not get wet because wax is very slippery it is uh, it does it is not a good conductor of water it does not absorb water at all so now i wonder which materials are waterproof i'm reading in the blue cloud i wonder which materials are waterproof rubber is waterproof okay 
uh, wax is waterproof plastic is waterproof all right so now look at the boy he's uh, he's holding a piece of paper like a newspaper over his head because he he is going to go from the house to reach the car he doesn't want to get wet so he takes a, a newspaper and he covers his head do you think he's going to be saved or do you think he'll get wet yes he will get wet because newspaper paper material uh, absorbs water and it lets the water to pass through it okay it's not waterproof so paper isn't good at stopping water correct what they said is right now let's read in the red box dig deeper find out why an oil skin is called an oil oil skin why is an oil skin called an oil skin uh, oily skin oil is uh, if you pour few drops of oil in a glass of water take a a uh, transparent glass which you can see through fill in water okay then take a few drops of oil and put it in it add you pour it in the glass you will see the oil will start to float it does not sink all right because an oil will not let the water pass through now read in the box at the bottom box last box did you know you can make cotton cloth waterproof with wax so any kind of material if you rub wax over it it becomes waterproof as wax is oily yeah wax is something like oil it does not let the water to pass through it makes it slip down all right now let's go to page number 29 it says paper we will learn about paper quite interesting topic you have been writing notes about it okay now in the box things to learn what jobs a material can do to sort paper into groups there are different types of papers as well to compare lots of different papers now wooden books in olden times there were books they were not pages they used to write on leaf then they started to write on the wooden thin strips okay so it is a very very old time thing now we have invented paper so now we write on piece of paper paper is made from wood we can use old paper to make new paper that's called recycling the paper we grow trees to make in into paper so there are trees which will be turned into paper they especially grow those trees which gives you the best quality of papers different uses paper is very useful it can do lots of jobs how many jobs can you think of now yes paper is very useful you can have a paper box you can have a cotton box see as i told you there are different varieties of paper this is a cardboard paper this is a paper bag you can make magazines you can make newspapers yeah there are so many uh, things we can make the paper and use all right so things let's read in the red club i wonder who made the first paper and how the first paper was made in china so they have how they made it they have taken the sap of the tree and they have made it into paper so i have even the wooden chips what they do is they chop the wood into tiny 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 bits okay and then process it uh, and boil it and then make it turn it into thin layers of paper i have shared this with you all in the notes okay things to do test different papers from their for their properties sort them into groups which is the best paper for wrapping so you will even wrapping paper when we give wrap what do we do these days we do get uh, plastic wrapping sheets but in olden days we always used paper 
to wrap. So there were a few times when people used uh, newspaper to wrap up or magazine papers to wrap up a gift. So now we have different materials of wrapping papers. But uh, paper wrapping, wrapping paper made of paper is the best. All right. So let's look at the box underneath the tree. Dig deeper, find out how many trees are needed to make one ton of newspaper. To make one ton of newspaper, how many trees do you need to cut down? I've given you notes on this. Go find out. Yes. So, because I want to know how many of you really read through the notes which I have given to you. Around 24 trees if I'm not wrong. Yeah? Okay, did you know you can eat rice paper? Rice paper, actually it's not paper, but the rice water, do you, uh, in, there was a time when in Vietnam, there was war between Vietnam and US. So in Vietnam, people were very poor, but they did not give up. They really fought with the uh, Americans and they won. So, but the war went on for few years. So what, how to keep them uh, healthy and full all the time so that they can get uh, enough energy and they should not have enough time to eat. So what they used to do, they used to grind the rice into batters and then they used to make thin layers of uh, rice paper. It's not, uh, you can even say tose, but it's not a... Uh, uh, it, it, it's like a paper, they, you can roll it and eat it. So those who then they started calling it rice papers. It's not a real paper, but it is made, those thin layers are made of rice water. Okay, so that's why they call it rice paper and yes, it is eatable. Okay, so for today, this is what we have for science lesson. We have learned about don't get wet and about paper. And I want you to copy the notes on glass and plastic. I have shared the notes you need to write neatly. And there, wherever you have a picture, that worksheet you can just paste. Okay, especially the second worksheet. Today what I'm going to give, the first worksheet is on notes on glass. That you need to copy. The second worksheet, which has all the pictures on it, you just print and paste. You do not write to, need to write anything. Just print and paste. And then the third worksheet, you need to copy because it is on plastic. And if I'm not wrong, there are a few pictures as well. But the notes you copy, picture you paste. I'm very clearly mentioning this to you please write the notes you have to see and write the notes the way you do it in the class copy from the board the same way you need to copy it in your exercise book i want you to practice your writing if you just go print out and paste you will forget how to write neatly in between four lines so because tuesday uh, we do not have science lesson so i've given you enough notes for you to easily copy and slowly do the work do not be in a rush and do untidy work all right so i will see you tomorrow for maths lesson bye for now